Hey there, my name is Cameron. Welcome to Beyond the Parallax Effect. In lesson one, you learned how to set up the vanishing point effect in Photoshop and then add motion in After Effects. In lesson two, you will learn how to better composite the two photographs together, add subtle effects, and create an overall look. So let's dive in and get started. Light wrapping is a technique that is used to blend a foreground image with a background image. This technique helps to make the composite look more blended and realistic. Pre-compose the astronaut pre-comp once more. And duplicate the astronaut pre-comp. With the top layer selected, add an invert effect. Change the inverted channel from the default of RGB to alpha. This reverses the alpha channel of the astronaut. Next, apply the channel blur effect. Boost the alpha blurriness to a high number to soften the inverted alpha channel. Set the bottom astronaut layer to alpha mat the top astronaut layer. This is the foundation of the light wrap effect. In the working comp, duplicate the hallway pre-comp and place it under the light wrap pre-comp layer. Set the track mat to alpha mat. Turn the light wrap off, then on, and notice the light wrap compositing effect. A couple more effects are added to the astronaut pre-comp to blend it more with the background. Curves is added to brighten the layer and hue saturation is added to color correct. In scenes shot on a real world camera, not everything we see is visually perfect. Apply the camera lens blur effect to the astronaut and light wrap layers to push them further back in Z-depth and to give them a subtle, imperfect look. One last thing to help with selling realism is to add a slight amount of motion blur. Turn on motion blur for all layers and enable motion blur at the top of the timeline. The use of third-party plugins has been limited to a handful of effects throughout the Beyond the Parallax Effect video series. In this particular video, two third-party plugins are used. The plugin Particular from Red Giant and the plugin Optical Flares from Video Copilot. In my opinion, these two plugins are essential tools in creating professional looking motion graphics. However, if you do not have these plugins, there are similar plugins included with After Effects that can create the same effects. Particle Playground can be used in place of Trap Code Particular, and Lens Flare can be used in place of Optical Flares, so feel free to use what you have. A luminous back window will feel more space-like and create an interesting backplate, and with the help of light wrapping, will bring the astronaut more into the scene. The luminous window is created by first duplicating the back layer, and then adding the levels effect. Boost the whites until they are noticeably brighter. Next, add the Gaussian Blur effect. Increase the blur intensity. Lastly, change the layer transfer mode to screen. The screen transfer mode creates an additive effect similar to mixing projected lights. These three steps create an overall soft glow, similar to starlight. A pale turquoise solid is added to the scene.
The salt is dropped in opacity, masked and feathered to bring a hint of light to the upper right corner of the scene. This is subtle light, but has an effective presence in the scene. Trap code particular is used to create the space particle effect. The space particles add more parallax to the overall scene by adding to the Z depth. If you have this plugin, apply it to a new solid layer. Click on the Effects Builder button and select the Snowy Night 1 preset found under Particular Effects, Water and Snow. Multiple parameters need to be adjusted to match the space particle effect. The same particle look can quickly be achieved by loading the particular preset that came packaged with the After Effects project files. Take the time to explore all the parameter settings that were customized to create the space particle effect. Make sure to enable motion blur for the particle system to add to the sense of realism. The motion blur is very subtle, but subtle details are what make it great. Optical flares is used on separate layers to create the flary mood light effect. Three solid layers are placed on top of the astronaut, and then Video Copilot's Optical Flares plugin is added to each of these individual layers. One flare layer has a small amount of Gaussian blur applied. Again, this is to create imperfections. The flare layers bring background light into the scene and on top of the astronaut. Create one flare solid below the astronaut and apply optical flares to this layer as well to help composite the astronaut into the scene. Copy the optical flare presets that come packaged with the project files into this folder structure. Apply preset flare 01 to flare layer 1, preset flare 02 to flare layer 2, and so on. Take the time to look at the settings used. As a final polish, drop the working comp into a new comp by dragging and dropping the working comp over the new comp icon located at the bottom of the project window. Open the comp settings. Name this new composition Render. It will become the composition that is outputted. The final output for this example will be 1920 by 1080. But because we built this project using very large photographs to begin with, a 4K output comp could just as easily be set up. Scale the working composition to fit within the render composition. Import the included letterbox PNG file and drop it on top of the working composition. Add a simple vignette below the letterbox by using a semi-transparent black solid and mask set to subtract. This vignette helps to soften up the edges of the frame and give the composition a more realistic feel of a lens. A vignette PNG with alpha file is also included in the project files. Create a new adjustment layer below the vignette. To this layer, add the grain effect. Adjust the settings to give a very subtle grain feeling to the overall image. In motion graphics, final renders can tend to look too sharp and computer generated. Adding a little grain can go a long way in helping to sell an animation as more believable. New to After Effects CC is the Lumetri Color Effect. This effect is a powerful color suite built into After Effects. The effect can be found by going to Effect, Color Correction, Lumetri Color. 
apply it to the working pre-comp. Under the Creative drop-down, select a filter like SL Gold Tobacco to put an overall color wash on the entire composite. Lastly, add the glow effect and set the glow parameters to something similar. And that's it. That's how to create a pro parallax scene utilizing the vanishing point techniques in Photoshop and After Effects. Your assignment is to create a vanishing point scene based on a photograph and the techniques you have learned here. Leave your comments below and let me know what you think of this lesson.